What's up, y'all? I'm Fast Track. I'm the best man pajama who ever stood in front of a camera. And welcome to Ruby Month! That's right. It's that month where we get to celebrate one of the greatest online series I have ever seen. Until someone tells me to watch something else and then I get addicted to that. And maybe I get introduced to it by Death Battle or by a commenter or both. But hey, what you gonna do? And now, we are going to spend this entire month seeing the season finale of Ruby Season 1, the entire season of the entire second season of Ruby, and maybe a little bit of the third season. Basically, this whole month is for me to catch up with the entire series. And maybe, just maybe, I'll watch a little bit of that Ruby Chibi. I've been saving it for this month, or for any other special occasion. So, um, hopefully I'll get the... Hopefully I'll get any references that are put into that little mini-series. Hopefully it's good! But for right now, we are going to watch the Season 1 finale of Ruby. Most specifically, the last two episodes that I've been saving. Which is... Oh dear. 15, The Stray, and 16, Black and White. Nobody make a joke about that in the comments below, or I swear. Anyway, so, last time on Ruby, we got a story arc for John Arc. Eh, you see what I did there? That's right, John was able to overcome his little bullying dilemma and stand up to that one guy whose name I forgot already. He's a little one dimensional, so what you gonna do? And now, he's, he has this thing with Pura, I think, hopefully. I ship it. Let's see, what ships are already in Ruby? We got John and Kira. We got. Give me a break, give me a break. We got Ren and Pinkie Pie. I know her name's not Pinkie Pie, but come on, we're all thinking that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the ships I can think of now. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's it. So now, we're going to see what comes next in the series, and I cannot wait. Will there be action? Will there be laughs? Will there be suspense? Will there be drama? Will it be all of the above? Well, that's the whole point of this reaction. I, I watch it, you watch me watching it, and you laugh at my facial expressions whenever you go. <laughs> uh, why do I do stupid things on the internet? Uh, I didn't really get back to killing bronies. Now, before we begin, a little heads up. Ruby Month is not going to be 100% Ruby. I'm still going to be doing a little bit of fast track attacks, and if it's an absolute dire thing, I might react to some pony stuff or other stuff, or maybe some death battle. I am planning to see the Joker versus Sweet Tooth death battle, making a reaction of that. But, uh, yeah, most, like, um... 70% of my focus is going to be on Ruby. That's for the month. Okay? Okay. Well, now that out of the way, let's get to Ruby. Chapter 15, The Stray. Alright. Oh, and don't forget, we skip 30 seconds in to skip the intro music. I don't want another copyright claim. Ugh. What a beauty on YouTube. With that said, Chapter 15, The Stray, let's begin. Don't understand what's Five, going on here. Four, three, two, let's begin Ruby Month. One. Ooh, a town festival. Yo, Silver Quill, play your drinking game. Wait, this isn't my little pony. Never mind. Welcome to Vale. The Vital Festival. Oh, this is absolutely wonderful. Oh, this is what they were talking about. Why is this smiling? Why you not smile? A festival dedicated to the cultures is the world of the ending? world. There will be dances, parades, a tournament. Oh, the amount of planning and organization that goes into this event is simply breathtaking. Oh no, she's Twilight! I really know how to take a good Wait, this is Ruby no, Month, Why not you? My Little Pony. Remind me again why we're spending our Friday afternoon visiting the stupid docks? Oh, they smell like fish. I've heard that you think? from Vacua will be arriving by ship today. And hmm. as a representative of Beacon, I feel as though it is my solemn duty to welcome them to this fine kingdom. Oh, feeling she so privileged. Them, so she'll have the upper hand in the tournament. Oh, you can't prove that. Whoa. <laughs> okay, what's with all the... 
silhouettes, I swear, if you say black. Ah, just kidding. Just kidding. Just don't overdo it. What happened here? Robbery. Second dust shop to be hit this week. This place is turning into a jungle. Ugh, that's terrible. They left mm. all the money again. Huh? Yeah, it just doesn't make a lick of sense. Who eats that much dust? I don't know. Man. No money? The, uh, what happened to yeah, I'm thinking we don't crime doesn't enough. pay? <laughs> the white thing. What an awful bunch of degenerates. White What's thing. your problem? My problem? I simply don't care for the criminally insane. The White Fang is hardly a bunch of psychopaths. Their collection of... Why is her hair flowing like that? Guided. They want to wipe humanity off the face of the planet. So what? then they're very misguided. Either way, it doesn't explain why they would rob a dust shop in the middle of downtown Vale. Hmm. What are the White Fang? I f I'm forgetting things. Have you never caught that Torchwick guy I ran into a few months ago? Maybe it was him. That still doesn't change the fact that the White Fang are a bunch of scum. Those faunas only know how to lie, cheat, and steal. That's not necessarily true. Wait, the faun- Like those human-animal hybrids and- Goku? Thanks for the ride, guys! <laughs> um... Or is he someone based off Goku? Or the Monkey King? Hey! No good stowaway would have been caught. I'm a great stowaway. <laughs> I like him already. Hey, get down from there this instant. <laughs> oh, I really like this guy. Okay, so the Faunus are animal-human hybrids. The White Fangs are, like, gang members of the said Faunus. And this guy, I like him already. Chip, 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 chipping fuel, like chipping fuel. See the competition. Get him up, bro. Hide. Quick, we have to observe him. Uh, what? Oh, Blake. I guess she's now a ninja in love. Oh. oh. What? Who? What? Huh? What? Who? Ha? Whoa? What? Huh? Oh, he got that was away. cool. But what? Uh, Weiss. Shipping fuel. Uh. Nah. Salutations! Um, hello. Are you okay? I'm wonderful. Thank you for asking. Do you want to get up? Huh? Yes. But? My name is Penny. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hello. Hi, Penny. I'm Ruby. I'm Weiss. Blake, are you sure you didn't hit your head? <laughs> oh, I'm Yang. It's Yang. A to meet you. you already said that. So I'm gonna make a fast track uh, yeah. Yang shipping fuel well, thing. Sorry for running into you. Take care, friend. I'm guessing homeschool. She's not moving. She's not blinking. She was weird. No. Where did that bonus riffraff run off to? Who are you calling riffraff? What did you call me? Oh, I'm really sorry. I definitely didn't think you heard me. No. She's either homeschooled or a wizard. Or both. You? Me? I, I, I don't know. I, when I, um, uh, you called me friend. Am I really your friend? Uh, oh, my. Oh! <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Sensational. We can paint our nails and try on clothes and talk about cute boys. Oh, is this what it was like when you met me? No. She seems far more coordinated. So, oh. what are you doing in Vale? I'm here to fight in the I tournament. I like you, Penny. Wait. What? You're fighting in the tournament? I yes, what? That ready. Like I said, what? But you hardly look the part. So what she said. wearing a dress. It's a combat skirt. Yeah. Wait a minute. Combat skirt. If you're here for the tournament, does that mean you know that monkey-tailed rapscallion? The who? Rapscallion. The bonus from the boat. Why do you keep saying... Where does she get that? Stop calling him a rapscallion. Stop calling him a degenerate. Oh, she's, she's racist. Oh, I'm sorry. Would God damn it, folks. Okay, pause it right here. As a trash can? Okay, I'm back. As a lamppost? As a lamppost? Stop it. Stop what? He clearly broke the law. Give him time, he'll probably join up with those other faunus in the white thing. Ugh, you ignorant little brat! 
So is this like some form of racism? And how dare you talk to me like that? What does she have to do with the? Fa- your teammate. Is she one of them? You are a judgmental little girl. What in the world makes you say that? Uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe sure because you're judgmental. Where are we going? Based on his species, makes you just as much of a scoundrel as you believe him to be. So you admit it? The white thing is just a radical group of terrorists. That's not what I meant, and you know it. I don't understand why this is. Oh no, they've taken it to the that room. That is the problem. You realize you're defending an organization that hates humanity, don't you? The faunus of the White Fang are pure evil. There's no such thing as pure evil. Why do you think they hate humanity so much? Actually, there is it's such a thing as pure like evil. Carded. Hitler, like you, that Stalin, the take such drastic measures. Well, Saddam People Hussein. Like you're just My dad. What? You want to know why I despise the white thing? Backstory! I don't particularly trust the Faunus. It's because they've been at war with my family for years. War as an actual bloodshed. My grandfather's company has had a target painted across its back for as long as I can remember. What? And ever since I was a child, I've watched family friends disappear. Board members executed. An entire train car full of dust, stolen. And every day, my father would come home furious. And that made for a very difficult childhood. Whoa. No! You want to know why I despise the white thing? It's because they're a bunch of liars, thieves, and murderers. Well, maybe we were just tired of being pushed around. She is a faunus. I. Or is she white? What? 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 Come back! What is going? Blake, what's happening? What is this feeling deep inside my chest? I'm sorry, what? I knew you would look better without the bow. Cat ears? Wait, she has two pairs of ears. And who was that? Was it the monkey tail guy? Rise and shine. Okay, Weiss, Blake, you have some explaining to do. Girl, I'm sure she can handle herself. Weiss, come on. She's one of our teammates. Is she? We all heard what she said. Weiss, maybe she come is. Come on, maybe Weiss. She she's her friend. Either way, she's missing. And we like a penny girl. Her. A member of the White Fang, right underneath our noses. I just hope she's she okay. is. She is? <sighs> so. <laughs> you want to know more about me? Yes. Yes, we do. We all do. No. I need more. Oh, wait. We're going to get more. Okay. Hello, Penny. Hello, monkey-tailed rapscallion. Oh, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to say rapscallion. Okay. So we get an introduction to two new characters and two new back... <laughs> this will be the day we open up the door. Did I forget to mention that the soundtrack is amazing? Now, what was I talking about? Oh, yes. So we get two new characters and two new backstories. We get Penny, who... homeschooled, never had a friend, Twilight Sparkle. Um... I'm guessing, um... Like, she's socially awkward. Yes, yeah, she can beat up any person she wants, but doesn't, but doesn't know her own strength. Oh, that would be cool. I love those kind of tropes. <laughs> and we get the monkey-tailed guy. I'm guessing he's based off the Monkey King, who Goku is also based off. Yes, I read. Psh. Educate yourself, people. 
Now, um, let's see. He's a Faunus, and... Let's see. Let's see. He's a Faunus, and there are some people of the Faunus who are called the White Fang, who are basically terrorists who commit crimes for political acts. Okay. So, now we're getting into a little touch of races and racism. Okay. So, this is basically the anime-esque version of the 1960s, and, let's see, this represents the 1960s of America. The Faunus represent ethnically diverse people. And I guess the White Fang represents the Black Panthers. <laughs> white Fang, Black Panthers, black and white. Oh yeah, that reminds me, that's the next chapter. Then again, Weiss and Blake also represent black and white. Hmm. Wow. I love symbolism! <laughs> you can't get enough symbolism. Well, yes you can. But, um, anyway. So we find out that Weiss and her and her family have been at war with the White Fang for as long as they could remember. And Weiss had a pretty rough childhood and apparently developed a hatred for the White Fang and to Faunus in general. Okay, now we can see how that got a little offhand. And we find out that Blake had a troubled past and is a and is actually a Faunus, a human animal hybrid. And was she a member of the White Fang? Was that monkey tailed guy a member of the White Fang? Maybe, she, maybe they were. Wait! Hold on. Hold on. I have an epiphany. I just had a realization. I remember a long time a commenter told me that Blake was based off the story of Beauty and the Beast, and I asked if it was Beauty or the Beast. Apparently, Blake is both. Both. What's wrong with my word? Both. Blake is a beauty and a beast. Wow. That is a hardcore dedication to fairy tales. Whew! Okay, I get it now. So we get a little bit of backstory. Weiss has been experiencing nothing but trouble for her family from the Faunus, and Blake, who is a Faunus, has experienced nothing but hate and racism from the human race. I guess she wears that bow to disguise herself so she can live amongst them and feel normal. What? Why is this cartoon getting to me? Why am I relating it to, to it so much? This is an awesome show. I need to see what comes next. So, I want to see what comes of Weiss. I want to see what comes of Blake. I want to see what comes of that monkey-tailed rapscallion. Why do I keep saying that? And I want to see what comes of Penny. I like Penny already. <laughs> oh, she's so chipper and cheerful. It's a crime. All right, with that said, let's react to Ruby Chapter 16. Black and white. I swear, if anyone makes a joke about that... Five, four, three, two, one, go. Finally, she speaks. Nearly two days, and you're giving me nothing but small talk and weird looks. Two days? Yeah, like that. <laughs> Son, are you familiar with the White Fang? His name is Son? Of course. I don't think there's a faunus on the planet who hasn't heard of them. Stupid, holier-than-thou creeps that use force to get whatever they want. Bunch of freaks, if you ask me. I was once a member of the White Fang. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. That was quick. You were a member of the White Fang? That's right. So not I all faunists agree with the White Fang. Life, actually. You could almost say I was born into it. Back then, things were different. In the ashes of war, the White Whoa. Fang was meant to be a symbol of peace and unity between humans and the faunists. Of course, despite being promised equality, the faunists were subjected to discrimination and hate. Humanity still thought of us as lesser beings. And so, the White Fang rose up as a voice of our people. And I was there. I was at the front of every rally. I took part in every boycott. And I actually thought Whoa. we were making a difference. But I was just a youthful optimist. Then, five years ago, our leader stepped down. And a new one took his place. A new leader 
with a new way of thinking. Suddenly, a peaceful protest were being replaced with organized attacks. They were setting fire to shops oh, that refused to serve us, hijacking cargo from companies that used honest labor. And the worst part was, it was working. We were being treated like equals, but not out of respect, out of fear. So I left. I decided I no longer want to scared. use my skills to aid in their violence. What is this so cartoon doing to me? I keep my life to becoming a huntress. It's so here I am. Deep, a criminal hiding meaningful. in plain view. All with the help of a little black bow. So. Have you told your friends any of this? I think they figured it Blake! out. Blake! Blake! Where are you? Weiss, help Blake! them! Exactly. Might be able to help the police. Ugh, Weiss. Shut Just your idea. mouth. Yeah, bad one. Weiss, I think we should hear her side of the story before we jump to any conclusions. I think when we hear it, you'll all realize I was right. And I think Weiss's hair looks wonderful today. What? Hey, where did you come from? Hey guys, what are you up to? Uh, girl, you a stalker. Oh, you mean the Faunus girl. What? She wears a bow. You getting it now? Well, this is awkward. So, where is she? You don't know. She's been missing since Friday. <gasps> That's terrible. Well, don't you worry. She's Remember, a little touchy, Penny? isn't she? I won't rest until we find your teammate. Uh, that's really <laughs> nice of you, Penny. Uh, but we're, we're okay. Really. Right, guys? Um... Awkward. It sure is windy today. <laughs> so, what's the plan now? Should I laugh? Should I cry? I don't know. It's behind these robberies. They've never needed that much dust before. What if they did? I mean, dust. That's like a physical form of magic, right? Is to go to the place where they would most likely go to if they were to do it, and not find them there, right? The only thing is, I have no idea where that would be. Well, while I was on the ship, I heard some guys talking about offloading a huge shipment of dust coming in from Atlas. How huge? Huge. Big shiny company freighter. You're sure? Uh -huh. Thanks anyways. This is hopeless. You just had to dish your sister. You really don't care if we find her, do you? Don't be stupid. Of course I do. I'm just afraid of what she'll say when we find her. The innocent never My. run, Yang. My gosh, Weiss. Open your head and open your heart. So... Blake is your friend? Open your heart, Crush 40. Yes, Great Penny. song. But you're mad at her? Yes. Well, I'm not. Weiss is. Is she friends with Blake? Well, that's kind of up in the air right now. But why? Will you Come see? on. Blake They'll make up. Right? Thought she was. Is she a man? No, no. What? I don't know what she is. She didn't exactly talk to us before she decided to run off. That was out of nowhere. I don't have a lot of friends. But if I did... I would want them to talk to me about things. Aww. She's so innocent. She's so... I don't know, robotic or something. Schnee Dust Company. Did you anything? Schnee. Not really. They've offloaded all the crates from the boat. Now they're just... I just remembered. Is he the guy with the Does nunchuck the guns? Do you always break the law without a second thought? Hey, weren't you in a cult or something? <laughs> okay. Irony. Well, might they'll be able to hide from that. All that noise, all that light, and yep, it's the faunus. Is that them? I mean, yes. White Fang. It's them. I need to know the difference. All right, grab the tow cables. You really didn't think they were behind it. Did you? No. I think deep down I knew. I just didn't want to be right. Hey! Oh, man. What's the hold up? We're not exactly the most inconspicuous that guy. at the moment. So, why don't you animals try to pick up the pace? This isn't right. Man, I break your legs, then you'll need that cane. Human, especially not one like that. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, what happened to the sneak attack? No, you idiot. This isn't a leash? What the- uh, 
Nobody move. Oh, he was about to say the F word. Oh, she's a kick-ass little lady. And Brothers of the White Fang, why are you eating this scum? Taking <laughs> off the bow. Oh, did. Didn't you get the memo? What are you talking about? Uh, the White Fang and I are going in on a joint business venture together. Tell me what it is, or I'll put an Who would work with you? operation. I wouldn't exactly call it a little operation. Oh, no, it's the Calvary. And they got... Big arms. Cane gun. The best kind of cane. I should get my grandma one of those. Wait, I already made that joke. Oh. Wait, did she just make a clone or something? You did not just make that joke. Oh! Nice, nice job, son. That's his name, right, son? Nice job, son. Oh no, they're armed. You are not the best banana in the bunch, are you, kid? You did not just make that joke! Ooh, 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 time for some kung fu. Staff? I thought she had nunchucks. That's pretty cool. Wait, red? It's a power pole from, from Dragon Ball. Maybe he is based off Goku. A staff that turns into nunchucks that turns into guns? This is an awesome show. Whoa. No! Hey. Not the monkey dude! Oh, hello, Red! Isn't it past your bedtime? Ruby, Shut up. Are these people your friends? Penny, get back! <gasps> oh! <Yeah. laughs> oh, you pissed her off. Penny, wait! Stop! Please do something awesome. Don't worry, Ruby. I'm combat ready! Please do something. Ah, oh, what? What in the name of second you we are kind of what? My mind, I think it liquidated. Holy crap. She's a cyborg. Or Android. I'm not sure, but oh my god, this. So is he not real or somewhat real or. Oh, is she is the most kick ass homeschooled girl I have ever seen. Hey, as a weird kid myself, I take high offense by that. Penny, you are amazing. We're son. There he is. Weiss, Yang, about time. Look, Weiss, it's not what you think. She explained the whole thing. You see, she doesn't actually wear a bow. She has kitty ears, and they're actually kind of cute. Weiss, I want you to know that I'm no longer associated with the White Fang. Back when I was with... Stop. Do you have any idea of how long we've been searching for you? Twelve hours. That means I've had twelve hours to think about this. And in that twelve hours, I've decided... Please say something nice. I don't care. You don't care? You said you're not one of them anymore, right? No, I, I haven't been since I was uh, younger. Uh, I don't want to hear it. All I want to know is that the next time something this big comes up, you'll come to your teammates. And not some... someone else. Wise. Of course. Now hug it out. 
Hug. Yeah, Team Ruby is back together. I command thee to hug. I'm still not quite sure how I feel about you. Uh, <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, wait a minute. Where's Penny? Hmm? You should know better than to go running around in a strange city. I know, sir. Penny, your time will come. Is that her dad or something? Crow, team. Queen has... Hmm. Who's... Who's Crow? Okay, seriously, is the moon broken? Oh, is that it? So that's season one. It's over. It's over. But there's so many questions. What? What's with all these cliffhangers? Like, like the White Fang and the Schnee Company and Penny and her dad or caretaker? And what is Penny? And what about that Monkey Kid? Is he based off the Monkey King or is he directly based off Goku's based off the Monkey King? And my gosh, where do I get that staff nunchuck gun thing? That is awesome. And and Blake is part cat and she's both beauty and beast, which now makes sense. And Weiss is a privileged little brat, but she's finally opening up in her heart. And why didn't they hug? Uh, and we get a little touch of racism in the world, which makes it more realistic than this world, and makes it more connection with me, and... and what is this series doing to me? Why is it so... Beautiful? This... And the music is beautiful, it's like speaking to me. I love Ruby. I love I love that I'm making a Ruby month. I love reacting reacting to this. This This was a great season. The characters, they they are amazing. You connect with them. They they establish a world. It's like it's like you be able to look at this character and see a little bit of stuff in them. They're so alive yet they're so fake at the same time, and yet, you know this. This series is amazing. It's like an internet equivalent of Avatar The Last Airbender. It's... The music is beautiful. The characters are relatable. The story is emotionally driving. I can't wait to see more of it. Well, this is only the beginning of Ruby Month, and there's still more to come. Another cliffhanger? Don't we have enough? What's more to see? How very disappointing, Ronan. Whoa! <laughs> Ronan? I wasn't expecting to see you guys so soon. We were expecting more from you. <laughs> it's a female Fire Lord. You suggested working with those stupid mutts from the White Fang. And you will continue Racist. to do so. We have big plans for you, Roman. All we ask is a little cooperation. Are they White Fang? They don't look it. And we get more villains. Blu-ray! Well, that's it. What? What a great introduction to Ruby Month. We got to see the end of Season 1. We got to see... You know what? We'll just save it for the next episode. This is only the beginning of Ruby Month. And I'm going to see the rest of Season 2. Maybe a little bit of Season 3. Maybe a little bit of Ruby Chibi. Can't wait. Leave a comment below how you think of Ruby Month. Should I do this every year? Wait, do I have time to do this every year? There's only three seasons. I don't know. But... Oh, and no spoilers. No spoilers. I swear. I'm trying to enjoy this. Thank you, Rooster Teeth, for creating this. You are a wonderful animation or video making studio. With that said, people, Ruby Month is Ruby Month has a lot ahead of it, and I plan to catch up with the series. I'm Fast Track. I'm the best mamma jamma who ever stood in front of a camera. And I will be back in a flash.